Welcome to August 3rd, week 31 of 52 weeks of life. I seem to be on the Las Vegas Strip again. I don't know why. But we're here to check out some shops that are too expensive for me to shop in. Let's take a look. Welcome to Caesar's Palace. We're here for the casino? No, of course not. We're here to look in the form shops that I can't afford. Look at this, a statue I can't afford with treasures. There's the Earl of Sandwich, which I won't eat at. But let's see what we can see. There's the entrance, off we go. The Caesar's Palace shop. And uh, Golden Misfits. A store that I probably can't afford. There's the coach store. I can't afford coach. Besides, I don't need a purse. Very nice. Very nice ceiling. I wonder if those windows have ever been cleaned by anyone. Interesting. Here we have the water drill dropping an anchor and breaking the floor in 2019. Or they'll drop an anchor on the people who try to eat there. Or is it a store? No one seems to know. Here we have giant head seats. You ever want to sit in someone's giant head? Here you can. You peek through the eye sockets of other people in a giant mask seat. There's the fountain in the middle. I believe it's too expensive to move, so it's been here for years. There's a woman posing on the fountain in the middle. Ta-da! As you can see, not many tourists come here. It's jam. You think it's Disneyland. But it's just a bunch of people who don't go into stores. If you look at the stores, they're nearly empty. But huge crowds of people walk around and <laughs> don't buy anything. Here we have H&M, the store that's out in the walkway, doesn't really have a store, it's just stuff. It's sad, I think this used to be FAO Schwartz. I would much prefer the toy store to this. There's even a DJ. Who the hell needs a DJ in a store? How bizarre. Some people even bring their little dogs. Come, little dog, come. You want expensive? Here's expensive. An Apple store. Where you can get thousand dollar phones. Just like this one. You got a Link Fine Outs art store. How'd you like to have that on your wall? Fantastic. There's a giant cheesecake factory sign. Probably for a tiny, small cheesecake factory over there. We'll see when we get around there. There's uh, the Atlantis show. Oh, we won't, like, we I wonder if that's worked in the last couple of years. Giant checkmark store. Yes, I know that means Nike. I'm sure there's a Nike store over there somewhere. Also, a Martin Lawrence gallery. A shop full of more fine art that no one goes in to see because no one can afford it and no one wants to be hassled by the one person in there waiting for anyone to come in so they can say hi how you doing today who needs a real aquarium when you could just put video of fish up the Nike store doesn't look like they apparently they only sell white and black shoes oh there's an orange one or red or whatever color it is. Will I go ahead and look? No, I will not, because I have my own Nikes on, and those are good enough. Oh, my mistake. There is an aquarium. Back here, behind the little Aquarius whatever the hell show thing. 
with almost no fish in it. Very nice. Now you can see me in front of the aquarium thing. I've never seen an aquarium with so few fish in it. I wonder why there's not that many fish. Have they died off? Or they were never put in there in the first place? Who knows? Here's the Cheesecake Factory. You would think with a sign that huge, it would be a larger place. But it really doesn't look that big at all. Is there some kind of upstairs? I wonder what's upstairs. Right next to the fabulous Las Vegas store. Nice. The sign takes up quite a bit of the store. Some shirts in the Las Vegas store. Drunk one, drunk two. Apparently those are for younger people who find themselves funny. They have a giant Sin City sign in here. Along with glasses and shot glasses and glasses and flip-flops and shirts. Tourist stuff. There's a Beatles round suitcase for $14.99. And a yellow submarine. How lovely. For the I think that's quaint people. A woman in a bikini and a shot glass. Lovely. The playing cards. I don't know if they're from. Oh, they are from some places. Look at that. Excalibur, M. Jim Grand, Balmies. Chips. Oh, fake slot machine things. Lovely. I've been requested to film this. It's a gangster license for Nevada. So you could be Bugsy Siegel. Lovely. Look at these, the little silver coins. A silver bar. They used to have these in slot machines. I had a bunch. I think I, my father had them. It's odd that they sell them here now. Interesting. What happens when you eat a lot on Monday? You wake up Fat Tuesday. Watch out, there's a gap here. Don't fall in. This must be the gap. Here we go again, past the Apple Store. Let's stare at all the people inside. Look at that, no one girl dancing away. Very nice. Apple, apple, apple. a land in Disney World. Apparently it's a little shop with no blue people in it. Here we are again at the face seats. It's really kind of creeped me out. Look at the creepy eyeballs with someone's shirt behind them. Ugh. If she tries to take a photo, a man just decides to come and stand there. He's dead as a post. Oh, she's going to tell him, get the fuck out of the way. And now we can take a photo of the heads. Fantastic. Here we have a close-up of the fountain. Some guy's back. Everyone loves to see a back, as well as a winged Pegasus horse. Here's the store. Our many little Zigna. Boy, it's sure packed for people, isn't it? There's Giorgio Armani. Should I go in and try and get a suit? No, because I prefer to spend a thousand dollars on a phone, not some shoes. Please, just walk in front of my camera. Rude people. Here's the lovely, I believe it's restaurant, Trevevi. I don't know, barely people eat there, or is it a bar? I, I don't know, it looks like a bartender. Getting people there, Trevevi drinks. Lovely. Apparently when you're rich, you name anything, anything you want. There's Breitling. You can fit it on the frame. It was built in 1884, even though the mall wasn't even here in 1884. Already it's the address, I don't know. Let's see the watches. Uh, well, you know what they say. If you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. So I can't afford it. Tag Cure. More watches. 
But again, you have to ask the price. I can't afford them. Rolex. I wouldn't even go near that one. That's way too much. I can't. I would have a choice and pay my rent for a year or buy a Rolex. And this is how people think they should dress when they come to Las Vegas. Yes, people walk around looking just like this. Insane. Apparently Mike Tyson is in this little booth behind the curtains. He can't come out because he has to stay behind the curtains. So he's here to be seen, but you can't see him. So there. What is it they say in the Wizard of Oz? Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Here we have Kush Fine Art. I'm not certain I consider a large bug looking thing fine art. There are actually different levels to the shops. Exactly, I'd like to scream too. There are different levels to the shops. We're apparently on level two. Yes, continue to scream. I'd like to see some unofficial pornography. The statue of a woman showing one boob. Here's another one, showing another boob. Now my video has become X-rated. Look out a window, there's Harrods. And the link. What do you think those people up there are seeing if there's even people in there? I'm sure there are. And Harrods. Fantastic. And people leaving. Goodbye, people. So let's find out. Where am I? I thought I was at the forum shops. Oh, interactive map. Apparently right here, I believe. Where are the restrooms? We must know. Oh my goodness. You'd have to go quite a ways to find a restroom. Can't even read the shots. They're all fuzzed out. Wow. She will now attempt to find the store. So far it's fantastic. It's so confusing she can't figure it out. And it's even in English. Oh, we've got it moving. Boss. Look at this. We're looking for the M's for the magnet store. Davidson. We'll cut when we find it. And there it is. Maximus Magnets. It is way back over this way. Take escalator to terrace level. Wow. Look at this. Statue so far up, no one can get to it. And a painted ceiling. How many people look at the actual painted ceiling? It's some odd art. Look up, people. None of the people look up. None of them. This guy can't take his eyes off a phone. None, no one looks up. You could paint zebra stripes up there and these people wouldn't know. None of them look up. We will now attempt to ride the elevator. Will we fit in here? Will someone push a button? Someone push the button. Let's see how long it takes to go to three. Let's hope we're not delayed. It doesn't feel like it's too air conditioned in here. No, it doesn't. So let's hope it doesn't break. Yeah. Oh, three. Can we get out? Very good, three. Can we get out? Oh, we can get out. Fantastic. The store we're searching for, Magnet Maximus. Hats are 75% off, now only three bucks. Interesting. They also say Las Vegas on it. I don't want a hat that says Las Vegas. That's too bad. But, they have plenty of magnets. Okay, yes, I bought a Las Vegas hat. It was $3.30. That's very cheap for a hat, so I bought one. Let's move on. Look at this. Magical memories. Some kind of Disney store. Please, walk in front of me. Walk in front of me, you can film. Now the rude people are part of the blog. Oh, very nice. 
dinosaur. I like this. Ooh, Alice in Wonderland. Very nice. Maybe more than people should go into stores. And you get a $3.30 hat. It's actually a nice hat. We've seen the two shops we needed to see. It's time to attempt the elevator again. Oh, ding, down we go. Again in the elevator with no air conditioning. It would be nasty to get trapped in here. Uh, but we didn't, we get back out. Fantastic. We have Brooks Brothers, where you can spin the wheel of money, dice, and see how much your clothes cost. Fantastic. Like to lounge in Caesars near the head chairs? Feel free. Near the large pond thing. Wonderful. How about this store, Kimosabi? It's private property and you can't enter it. So it's apparently a store no one can go in. Oh, she's in there. She's on private property. All kinds of bad stuff could happen. And you will find yourself in an expensive lawsuit, which you will lose because this sign will be exhibit A. You people had better get out of there or you will be sued. Want to run a very expensive store? Have your, your uh, cash machine or your cash register made out of gold. I don't know where this is. Antiquities with the antique Zoltar machine. It's like Zoltar takes bills. Am I going to pay Zoltar? No. My $3.30 hat and I will not pay him a dollar. Almost missed antique Yoda. All kinds of stuff in there. Men in black. You can see how much that is, but that's okay. Be quiet, Zoltar. The Forum Food Court. So if you don't eat expensive restaurants in there, you can eat at Smash Burger. Or a fast food place out in the middle of the casino. Let's see what else they have. Crepes. Walk and ramen. The Halal Guys. I don't even know what a Halal is. Lovely. Here's the crowded Caesar's Palace front desk. You can force your way up to the counter with these people in line, or just use a kiosk. You don't have to talk to anyone, just use your kiosk, check in, and go to your room. Fantastic. Keep in mind, even though it's an express check-in, there is still a line. So, apparently Friday at Caesars, it's very crowded. What do you see when you walk out the Caesars Palace entrance? A giant Donnie and Marie! They are really old, I think. And they're still out there trying to make a buck. And here's a statue of a guy whipping someone. Fantastic. This is Palace Fountains and Valet. Boy, not too many people here, are there? Goodness gracious. Who just said that bad word? Be quiet. There's part of the Caesars to Tower. It's the Caesars Palace Marquee. And the giant Donny Osmond! Hell's Kitchen, where your food better be damn good, or you'll give them hell. By Gordon Ramsay. Because I didn't film it before, there's the Caesar's Palace entrance. Main entrance, one of them, I don't know. There's another one over there near the not busy valet. There is the Cosmopolitan, with giant eyeballs at the top. There we go, the Cosmopolitan. And the giant eyeball building. Lovely. Here's the Caesars Palace Tower. Who do you suppose gets to stay in this room? I'm sure someone who gambles quite a bit. A little better view of the guy whipping. Apparently he's not whipping people, he's whipping horses on his chariot. And apparently he's starving the horses too. You can see their ribs. Too bad they didn't get to go to Hell's Kitchen. Although they might be served at Hell's Kitchen sooner or later. As soon as the guy whipping them kills the horses. What a fantastic statue. Here we have the Bacchanal Buffet. A little kiosk where you can apparently announce that you're better than other people. 
and pay more money and get in before everyone. I don't know if we can see anything. This is for large parties of six or more. Or one guy who can eat as much as six people. Fantastic. We found an escalator. I don't know where it goes, but we're going up to see where it leads. Dun dun dun. No one else seems to be on the escalator. Except for that guy who went down. He's apparently had enough of what's up here. So we will now see what's up here. And what is at the top? More escalators. So we'll rub these escalators and see what they are. Here it looks like ballrooms. But what's at the top of the other escalators? We must see. Looks like more ballrooms. Can we look out the window? Let's see. It's the pool, but not a good view of the pool. Fantastic. A bit better view of the pool and the people on the seats. Can't really see the water much though, but there's some of the pool. Well, that was a big waste of time to go to the escalator. <laughs> now we go back down the double escalators because there was nothing but ballrooms and nothing for me to see. This looks like quite a steep drop. Run, lady, run. As she chugs up the stairs. Get that cardiac. Arrest. You're gonna start a giant pronto sign. She wants her food pronto. She wants 40 wines by the glass. It's kind of a lot of wine to be having, but if that's what you want, and last but not least, we pay for parking. $12. Good God. Use a credit card and see what it does. Okay, that was August 3rd, week 31. We're done with uh, the strip and seizures. I'm going to go and find myself something to eat and edit all this video. So until next week, keep living life.